The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, what I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on, and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore the master and teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he instituted the Eucharist, the apex and the summit of our Christian life. It is not something we do, but it is who we are as a people. During the institution, he redefined the meaning of love. And that is to order ourselves for the good of the other. To order ourselves for the good of the other. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, When we say to order ourselves for the good of the other, it means not to lord over, but to serve together. You have to understand that to be a Eucharistic people, you must be secure, 
you must be humble and you must be strong. Because if you are not secure, you will not be able to strip yourselves of your titles, of your privileges, perhaps of your rights. If you are insecure, you will be afraid to remove and perhaps to lower yourselves to be among everyone. To be humble is to be able to serve. You can never ask a proud person to serve. And third, if you are not strong enough, you will not be able to serve. Secure, humble, is strong. Allow me to quote, you don't know them, they are brothers in the community I belong. I call them Titos, the late Tito Henry, that in spite of his position, even though his wife is a doctor, when his children are sick, were sick, she took the personal position of serving them personally. Serving them personally. The other one I call Tito Robert, whose wife passed away due to cancer. And I remember the story when his wife cannot move anymore. Pag dumudumi yung misis niya, sabi niya, I personally clean the behind of my wife. I personally clean the behind of my wife. That is love. That is service. Founded in being secure, knowing who they are, being humble, and being strong. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, every year we celebrate this Passover, this Lord's Supper liturgy. And every year except last year and this year, we watch the priests washing the feet of some people And I do not know what was in your mind. Binibiro ko yan palagi na hindi ko sinasabi sa tao kung sino ang huhugasan ko. Sapagkat pag sinabi mong mamayang gabi, huhugasan ko ang paa mo. Kahit wala ng oras, pipiliti nilang magpapedicure kasi takot silang makita ang kanilang mapaa na madumi. Yung iba talaga, nagpapaputs pa. Malinis na malinis. Hindi na kailangang hugasan. But the point I would like to stress is how many among fathers who have been participating in the liturgy really can strip their garment, their titles, 
their machismo image and be able to kneel down and wash the feet of his wife, of his children, of his kasambahay. Madali lang kasing manood, pero mahirap is a buhay. Perhaps that is the first challenge, the first challenge. being able to embrace the new meaning of love as we live our life as Eucharistic people. You must be secure, humble, and strong. The second image that I would like you to think is the kissing of the feet. It is not part of the liturgy. It is not something I like doing. But it is something me personally, I need to do. It is not something beautiful. It is not something honorable. It is not something praiseworthy in the eyes of the world. Sapagkat ang mundong ito, ang gusto ng lahat, sila'y tinitingala at niluluhuran. But the Holy Father, many times, in spite of the weakness, would bow down and kiss the feet of the Moors. Lately, when he visited the Muslim countries, he kissed the feet of their leaders. For what? To beg for peace. It is an act of supplication where only the secure the humble and the strong can do. Why do I do it? Because I beg God for the forgiveness of my sins and the sins of the people I love and cared for. I kiss the feet because I beg God for the people who are sick, in prison, in their sickness, suffering, and dying. I beg God for blessing for the people I love, I serve, and I care. I will continue to do it because it is something that we are supposed to do for one another. The Eucharist, the washing of the feet, the kissing of the feet, and third, we will not have a final blessing and we do not have final blessings on our Holy Thursday Lord's Supper liturgy. After the final prayer, we strip the altar. We strip the altar not because we separate, we leave, but we accompany each other. We accompany God. And this is the longing of God from His people. Can you not stay awake just for an hour? Can you not be with me? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, only those who are strong, secure, and humble 
can walk with God. The three graces we would like to ask from the Lord in every Lord's Supper liturgy. That I will be able to order myself for the good of the other. That I will be a person who ins intercede for others. That I may be a person who will, who will walk with God to the Calvary. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, sometimes it is so easy to be among the bystanders. It's difficult to be among the companion of God. Do not forget this, that the Eucharist is not something we do. It defines who we are. Amen. Brothers and sisters, to be a Eucharistic people, we must be secure, humble, and strong. The Eucharist is not something we do. It defines who we are.